Thank you, Louise. Thank you, membership team. Um, we appreciate you guys, uh, all the work you're doing, um, your engagement with all the clubs. Um, we're going to move on to our next uh, presentation this morning. Um, following this presentation, we'll be taking a 15 minute break. So um, you guys hang in there. Um, I believe we have Christine Wisian from the Corpus Christi Club, who's going to talk to us this morning about uh, Ryla in the age of COVID. Uh, lots of change going on here. So Christine, are you there and ready to take on? I am. Can everybody hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're very excited, uh, the Rotary Club of Corpus Christi, to continue our tradition of uh, bringing RILA to the district. The format is changing just slightly, but the content is not. And so the goal of today's session is to share with the participants today and then make this uh, presentation available to all of the clubs. So for those of you here, would you please reach out to your club members and let them know RILA is happening this year. We want the kids to participate and we need the clubs to take action very quickly uh, because we're, we're starting the registration process about a month later than we typically do. So the dates for eRILA are March the 11th through the 14th. So we'll go into that, but it's a Thursday through a Sunday. So next slide, please. <clears throat> what is eRILA? For those of you who have been active, you know that our uh, RILA camp is a leadership training camp for high school sophomores and juniors. And it's always been uh, an experiential program. So very interactive. The photos of past RILAs indicate that. Um, <clears throat> what we're doing a little differently this year is we're uh, using leadership and you to bring the program to a virtual format. And we'll talk a little bit about leadership and you sh uh, shortly, but it's still going to be a very interactive program, hands-on. We're still using the team approach at, that you've seen in the in-person camp. Next slide. So, Again, as we've done in the past, how the whole uh, RILA uh, program is formatted. Participants this year will come in as campers, again, as sophomores or juniors in high school, and they will still have, through the participation, a pathway to continue on with the rest of the RILA leadership program to move on to trailblazers and counselors and progress on through their college years. Um, once again, uh, we're needing the clubs to sponsor the kids. And once again, the Rotary Club of Corpus Christi is um, organizing it. The, we'll talk about what's different about it this year. Next slide. So what's different? Well, obviously it's gonna be virtual. Everything is going to happen via Zoom. And so uh, just as you're seeing this program work for you today, that's how the four day session is going to work for them, but we'll have breakouts, um, still teams that they'll be assigned to. The, another difference is um, there will not be any conflict with the school day. So no school excuses needed for the kids. And I think, <clears throat> you know, a lot fewer sports activities going on. So we shouldn't have that crunch of trying to find kids who we think are, are very good candidates, but have, other activities going on. So it's gonna be evenings, Thursday and Friday evenings, and then Saturday and part of Sunday. Another difference is um, all the materials that the campers are going to need, all their um, activity materials, as well as their t-shirts are going to be shipped directly to the campers home address. So obviously application information and timing makes it really important that we, we get the applications in on time. And then another big difference <clears throat> for those of you who have helped us in the past to actually get the reg registration materials in, you're gonna be very excited to know that the application is now going to be submitted online directly by the prospective camper. The, <laughs> the actual application is one page only. We don't need all of those permissions. 
uh, those medical releases, all those other things that made that a, a little bit of a cumbersome exercise, getting to and from the schools, the interacts, the parents, the students, forms missing. So um, the headache that you all experienced in the past, that is gone. You'll direct the uh, prospective campers to fill out the application online. So uh, that's what I was just saying. The application is different. You don't have to pass back and forth. Uh, another difference this year is because of the online application format and the timing, <clears throat> we're going to give the clubs an option. The applicants are there online. If the clubs want to actually review the applications, we'll make them available to you. You can, or we can just provide you the names and the schools of the applicants and let you say, yes, we're sponsoring that student or no, we're not. Or you can just say to us, we're interested in sponsoring three kids from McAllen, such such high school. <clears throat> you, Rotary Club of Corpus Christi, review the applicants and, and select those qualified. If it turns out that you don't have uh, applicants from the high schools that you typically would sponsor, and we have other applicants, or we have more from another school, we'll, we, we'll make that list available and still give you the opportunity to sponsor um, kids because we, we want a full enrollment on this process. I uh, manage the registration committee. Uh, for those of you who've worked uh, with us in the past, you know that I've got a full committee of, of five members we assign them to clubs, there'll be outreach, there'll be contacts uh, for any questions that you have. So always me or the direct registration contact for your club, uh, Lisa in the office, but we'll help you through this process as we always have. Number four. So again, just repeat, when is it? It's Thursday and Friday evening, Saturday and half day Sunday, March the 11th through the 14th. Uh, we chose those dates because they do, um, align closely with when uh, many of the schools across the district are having spring break. So um, we feel like there shouldn't really be much conflict with uh, school activities and the kids should be a little bit, uh, we think have some freedom around that time. As far as requirements, we still want the same quality of candidates that we've always had where uh, you all feel that this is, uh, is a student who can benefit from leadership and from this uh, interactive training. But in terms of actual uh, must-haves, the camper must have a computer, uh, a laptop or a desktop with a microphone and camera. As you all participating here understand, you've got to have those minimum requirements to participate in a Zoom meeting and internet access. So a smartphone itself would not be sufficient. Uh, the camp is not going to provide these physical materials. However, if your club um, finds a quality candidate who does not have these materials, certainly you are more than welcome to, to arrange this piece of the puzzle for your um, qualified applicants. And then uh, participation in the full event is required. So we, we do need to make sure that the uh, kids will be available Thursday through Sunday and will be able to participate in uh, all of the activities because again, it's team driven. And so they, they need to be there to learn and to benefit, but also to provide that interaction with the other team members. Um, what are the specifics in terms of club requirements? Obviously what we're looking for is the club to sponsor the applicants and to provide uh, the payment and make sure that their, uh, their kids do apply online by the dates. So the fee schedule is the same as it has been when we've had the camp at Camp Zephyr. It's $300 with a, if paid by December the 18th, and then it moves to $325 um, if you, if you uh, don't make the payment until after December 19th through February 5th. But the hard, hard, hard deadline is February the 5th for the applications and the payment to be made. And if you think back to what we've said in terms of uh, actual crates being delivered to the student's house, um, have connections made by past campers, so that all of the campers do get contacted by 
former uh, campers to make the connections and the team assignments. So that's why we have to have these hard deadlines. And um, anticipating that some, some of you all will say, gee, you know, I don't understand that. Why are we still having uh, a cost of 300 when it's all virtual? And really uh, the reason for that is, it's, as I'm sure you've seen on these meetings, your, your costs shift. So um, we have to, the leader in you company has to have all of the professional Zoom meetings, they have to ship the crates, and then there is uh, more technical staffing uh, and more, more professional staffing, and a little bit less on the, on the um, um, volunteer side here. So we're leaving at the bottom, and there's a few more slides to explain, but um, the link at the bottom is the link that you all will be providing to the prospective campers. This is where they will apply. So again, camp responsi uh, club responsibility, identify potential applicants, give them that link, have them apply, and then the selection will be made. We'll give you the names of the kids and then make sure the payment is made. So that's the general flow of it. And let's talk then a little bit about um, just the short term, uh, what I need. So uh, as I say, I have a registration committee. We're here to help you. And what I need on an immediate basis is for your clubs to reach out to me at my email, christine.weasion at gmail.com, or you can text me, phone me. I need the name of the person in each club who will be the contact for RILA. We're making some outbound calls to the contacts that we have had in previous years. But again, with this um, shorter time frame to get the registration done, if you all know those folks, if you can proactively send that to me, we'll take it from there. Um, and then they start reaching out also to your interact clubs, your school counselor, Rotarians. Again, Rotarians can nominate themselves. Rotarians can pay directly if they have uh, kids, grandkids, neighbors, school kids, uh, church associates, those can all be nominated. And there's the uh, application link as well. <clears throat> uh, this is a little bit of a repeat of what we've done before. I think it's just there to remind you, um, you know, what your responsibilities are there. I'm gonna go forward. So um, just a little bit about Leader in You. Uh, this is the, it's actually a company that is going to run the programming, but it's not, um, it's somebody that you know. So for you all, especially Southside uh, Club in Corpus Christi, you'll remember Bridget Markwood. He was a member of the Southside. Uh, Bridget now lives in Georgia. I think most of you have kept up with her know that, but, um, Bridget has formed this company. She's a professional educator, youth educator, so many credentials, I can't even repeat them all. But as you know, she helped us with um, Camp Rila for uh, a number of years and really helped reshape the inner, uh, experiential uh, format of the cl of club. So it is she who has adapted the same programming to a virtual uh, delivery. So how to do it, and she has done this successfully already. She's managed the RILA in Oklahoma for 21 years. And so after COVID hit, she was able to reformat and deliver a virtual RILA for the Oklahoma district this past summer. And it was a really big success. We, and she's, we've got lots of testimonial statements from participants there but it was a big success. I think we put a few of those in the next slide, some of the testimonials. Can we go forward? Yeah. So um, what Bridget provided to us, uh, she had asked the participants in the virtual camp, did the virtual leadership camp have an impact and was it successful? And so we have lots of quotes, but I'll share just a, a few of them with you. I like the last one the best. I too was skeptical at first, but this camp has truly changed my life for the better. This camp already means so much to me. And this year I was just 
uh, a camper. Being part of this showed me so much kindness I needed in my life and how truly amazing people can be. Gave them confidence, recommend it to anyone, and it achieved all of its goals. So I think, you know, we as adults are like, wow, well, I was going to send my, my uh, I was going to sponsor the student to go, to go to camp. And they're still going to camp. The programming has been adapted and it's very successful. So highly encourage you to continue uh, with, with RILA, with your sponsorship this year. And I think we have one more. Uh, if you want to know more about Leader and You, who is uh, actually running the program, so Bridget Markwood's company, that's the website where you can check it out. She's got a lot more information about the RILA programs that she's delivered. So that said, uh, with me today also are um, Lisa Chapman, most of you know, as the executive director of our club, and then also Mary McQueen, who, along with Bridget, has been uh, running all of the programming for the last lots of years, can't say. So we're open